So in this exercise, we're going to combine conditionals and loops. So we've got uh, an if, an else, and a for loop. Uh, and we've got this little scenario where we've been counting bacterial colonies in well plants, or if you're an ecologist, maybe you were counting dandelion and quadrants. Um, and we want to go through this list of results. And if the number is greater than 100, if that, sorry, if that number is greater than 10, we're going to add that number to the total. Else we're going to ignore that well plate. Uh, maybe we've got a workflow where we need a certain density of bacterial colonies for the next step to work. Something like this. So we're going to put this all together uh, by replacing all the gaps and combine all the knowledge that we put together in the last two notebooks uh, in, into one little program. So this is our list of well plate counts. We're not going to do anything to this. We know that we've got some well plates and we've counted these number of colonies of each well. We start with zero total valid counts, and then we're going to go through each of the well plate counts in turn using our for loop. So for each number of colonies, i.e. 12, then 9, then 13, and so on, inside well plate counts, we're going to do everything that's inside the loop, the loop as indicated by the indentation. So then we hit our conditional. So if the number of colonies is greater than 10, then we would like to add total to the total valid counts the number of colonies. So the new total valid counts is the old one plus the number of colonies. So if we think about this mentally, if we're looking at this, that when we go through the first round, the first number of colonies will be 12, that will be greater than 10, so we'll add that. So the total valid count will become 12. The second round, 9 is less than 10, so nothing will happen. The third round, 13 is greater than 10, so we'll add 13 to 12 to get 25. The fourth round, 19 is greater than 10, so we'll add 19 to 25, which is 44. The next round, 2 is greater, uh, less than 10, so we won't do anything solid. And then finally, we've got one blank left, which is the total number of valid colonies that we're dealing with. Okay. Uh, and you may notice that I have accidentally forgotten the F at the start of that line. There we go. So we've got warnings for each of the words. We didn't use 9, 2, 7, 10, 4, 1, and 6 and the total number of valid colonies, which is 81.